process, the benefit that we created in Bangladesh, which we know as microcredit, we created a bank called Grameen Bank, and that idea spread over the whole world and works under all kinds of political, economic, geographical situation. And we done programs as diverse countries as Africa, Latin America, Eastern Asia, everywhere. And we even done programs in the United States. We have a program called Grameen America. There are 19 branches of Grameen America, eight branches in New York City alone. And it works absolutely perfectly. Lending money to <coughs> poor women, creating opportunities for them to create an uh, income generation for themselves, just the way we have done it in Bangladesh. So that's the direction that we continue. Uh, uh, it has generated a lot of enthusiasm because it helps women enormously. For the first time, women got connected with the financial services. And then along the way, we also introduced other ideas which became known as social business. And that's another exciting idea. It's a much bigger, much diversified area where we can create a business of a different kind. And we call it social business. It's a non-dividend company to solve human problems. And we delete the whole idea of personal profit from the business, which was an integral part of the business, as if that is you cannot separate the both. We challenged it, we separated it owned by the borrowers. In, in other words, it's owned by women really. And it's women run by men. Uh, it's a women run bank. So the women is in the board. They are the one who are elected from the borrowers and from the bank. So that makes it a complete circle, complete uh, call. Uh, and today it's important for women empowerment. And there are many other things that the fact that the, not only they take a loan from the bank, they also make deposits in the bank. Last year, in 2014, the total loan that we gave out from Grameen Bank is over one and a half billion dollars. And something interesting happened last year in Grameen Bank. The total deposit of all the borrowers put together exceeded one and a half billion dollars. So it's, they have more money in the bank than actually they took the loan from the bank. So that kind of transformed the whole situation. Uh, the fact that they have money in the bank transforms it because it's their money. It's not the money owned by the family. It's not the money owned by her husband. It's her money. And she has the only key who can open that money, her signature. And she decides who will inherit this money in case of her debt. It's her decision, not everybody else's decision. That tremendously makes her very powerful that I have the money. Whenever I need this money, can get this one, it's under my control. So it, the ramification of it is enormous in this way they look at the family, in the way they look, she looks at the children, how to build her up, build them up, and so on and so forth. So that's very important uh, for that. Just to add one little piece, not only we do it in Bangladesh, 97% women, today we have over 70,000 borrowers in the United States in all the 19 branches. 100% of them, in absolutely beautiful way it works, and uh, with a high payment, everybody is happy with that.